the forehead of your robot. Hello, my name is John. I work at a computer store in a little town known as Portsmouth, Ohio. We have a game store known as Castle Comics. We sell comics, movies, etc. But most importantly for this, video games and computers. We once got a game in that the employees would not stop playing called Pet Croc for the Genesis. The game was a smash hit in the store. I never played it, but everyone else thought it was one of the best games ever created. Everyone would just stare in awe while someone played the game. I didn't know what all the fuss was about, it just looked like some Mario clone to me. But apparently, it was so much more. After about a week, the first disappearance happened. Steven didn't come to work for three days, then he was pronounced missing. It was a tragedy. Everyone was very sad that he left. The weird thing is that he only went missing after he played. But we thought nothing of it. Then more people started to disappear. It was David, then Jason, then Mary. There was none left except for me after a month. They all played that stupid game. I went to play it myself. But when I went inside the game room, it was already on the start screen, it seemed that Pet Croc was staring right at me. I pressed start and played the game. It started on level 1, a green looking rope like structure that you would walk on. The controls were surprisingly smooth for a Mario ripoff, but the graphics were glitchy and looked more like a NES game than a Genesis game. I would eventually learn how to attack with my plunger, and I would kill my first few enemies. I found the end of the level and instead of a goal or flag it was just nothing. At the top, it read, run. A creepy looking pixelated creature ran up and a chase scene followed. The chase was long and boring, since all the enemies were dead and there were no obstacles. I made it to the beginning and the game crashed. I cursed under my breath, hoping the game didn't break. I went to the computer to fix it but a mutilated Pet Croc face appeared on the screen and a glitchy screen played. I jumped back and punched the computer. The screen shattered. I grabbed the game and took it out back to the trash. I saw a man on the ground in the alleyway, probably drunk or homeless. I went over to the trash can when I was jumped by the man. He made me pass out with some kind of drug because the last thing I remember is me passing out. I woke up tied up in a dark room. A small light was in the far back of the room. It was a spotlight on a shrine of Pet Croc. Then 11 people in green robes and Pet Croc masks came out of the shadows, with one wearing a gold mask. The one with the gold mask stood in front of the shrine, knelt down, and started to pray to it. After about a minute, he got up and pulled out a knife out of his pocket. You will make a great fifth sacrifice. We needed a fifth to play the game, and you risked your life for the world to be saved. Thank you. He started to slowly walk towards me with the knife in hand. I quickly started to struggle and broke free. I ran out of the building and hid behind another building. I then walked to the store. I found the game outside the store and took it home. I burned it so nobody would ever face the same death my friends did. It's been two years since this happened. I had to get a therapist because of what happened. It was all just a traumatic experience. But since this is a place for true stories, I thought I would share my story.